Pookie's Voyage. Twas the era before Christmas when all on the earth not a creature stirred, for there'd not yet been birth. But gradually and gently, as a petal unfurls, this beautiful planet filled with boys and with girls. At first, not so humans, there are times yet to come. We have to be patient, our voyage just begun. So it's millions of years ago, plants are a plenty. Life is emerging, not now quite so gently. Dinosaurs burst forth in a golden display, huge and impressive in every way. Are they roaring or snoring? Will they stomp or give chase? If a large jaw shows twinkly teeth though, run away at a pace. But we have to move on, leave those dinos behind. Reach an age upon earth where glaciers formed, we'll find. When snow fell on snow, it was about six degrees colder. And chunks from those glaciers made icebergs like boulders. Yet who will we meet in this ice age so chilly? My, my, what big teeth they have. They're scaring me silly. So onwards we travel, now humans are here, and I see something furry, maybe cuddles are near. Eight feet of power, with broad shoulders and belly, we meet on an iceberg and my knees turn to jelly. I say, excuse me, dear chap, would you mind if I pass? Your hugs are a little tight and I'm quite late for class. A lesson from Santa this voyage was about, showing me Earth's precious gifts, past and present, I've no doubt. So we finally reach the grotto, a much treasured place, where I'll share what I've learnt with a most familiar face. You're right, you've guessed it. It's Father Christmas, I greet. Hey, why don't you join me? Yes, come in, take a seat. We can speak of our travels, of all that we saw, that even when scared, we were still filled with awe. And what might he say when we're snuggled up tight? Perhaps something more than Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night? find out what's going to happen to Pookie the elf in Voyage to the Grotto.